Hello guys, this is Sharon here from 24-7 Techie and we just now saw the booting up of the Hydrogen OS on the OnePlus 2. I'm showing you this because uh, this is the global variant of the OnePlus 2 and uh, it comes with Oxygen OS pre-installed but uh, everyone likes a change or something and everyone doesn't prefer the stock Android so OnePlus has uh, made uh, Hydrogen OS for the Chinese variant and uh, it's now available for the uh, global variant as well it's not officially uh, available so someone has ported it i really would like to give the thumbs up to the uh, to the xj developers who have done this again and it's very stable and everything is working fine and it's uh, also getting a uh, ota update so i will be leaving a link in the description in which you will get all the detailed instructions all the links uh, and all the downloads will be also provided in that so this rom will only work for the oneplus 2 right now as it is based on the 64-bit architecture and won't even support OnePlus One. If you are used to stock Android then and you really like stock Android, then this ROM will really be very a very big difference for you. As it is nowhere near to the stock Android, and we can see that clearly. For, I will show you the Android version it's running on. It's running on Android 5.1.1, Hydrogen H2 OS, Hydrogen OS version 1.1.0. It's the model number is 1A2003. So it is the global version. It is running very smoothly. I've been running it since uh, 12, 12 to 14 hours now. There have been no bugs that I've encountered right, uh, so far. But I can tell you that uh, there are some features that are missing in OnePlus One's Oxygen OS that uh, that I've come across in Hydrogen OS and uh, I really uh, wish uh, it were if it would have been present in the Oxygen OS uh, one of those is this so a screenshot with three finger swipe it's a really good feature and uh, we can even delete e each and every thing like this if we swipe it left side it will be deleted and if we swipe it right side it will be kept that's nice another thing that i really liked about was the uh, recent taskbar so i'll show you like uh, for the camera app if i swipe it right side it's now locked so we cannot uh, dismiss it and uh, if we do it with the uh, settings so the settings can be dismissed and if i swipe it right side again it cannot be dismissed so these are kept in this so this feature is missing on the oxygen os which I wish uh, was uh, present in this. I have used MIUI and uh, MIUI also has this feature and I really like this feature. Another thing that they have included is the uh, search the desktop apps. So we can search it like this for gallery. So 425 so it for the T9 uh, keyboard and that's nice so we can do anything like for phone. So we have the phone and the music player as well. So, but uh, but this ROM comes with some bloatware as it is based on the Chinese version. So it does comes with some Chinese ROMs which we cannot understand and most probably it can be deleted. So yes, it can be deleted easily. There are even uh, specific gaps as well present in the link so you can download those and the Play Store is working fine. Another thing that uh, uh, was appreciated but I am not really under able to understand it right now on this phone is this it's written on chinese one day something like that so if you press this it will come back to apps and if you press this something maybe some pictures or something will come up if we use it in china but we can edit the theme and the uh, settings in this so we can keep the time like this P choose pictures as well we can even choose the pictures from a gallery and they do have some good collections like this so we can uh, display the time like this or even like this whichever looks good you can even change the background theme as well which also which is also good customization so this all color is changed in the background with this that's nice another thing is that the control center that they, the control center type of thing that they have made uh, it is very similar to the thing that we have seen in the apple uh, apple ios phones it is a handy thing like uh, we can control each and everything and i can i guess we can even edit it in the settings and uh, with the settings we can go ahead like this another thing that they have included uh, is the tips for rookies so they do also tells us all the features that is available in this for rom so uh, thing like uh, you can edit the hydrogen window that i showed you right now the fingerprint sensor is also working in this as it is an official rom and uh, the three three button is also working nicely and it comes with this animation which is i uh, which is according to me really good animation 
like this it comes mute with red color and now comes with a greenish color with the all belts control panel lock button so we can lock lock our buttons so nothing is working over here double tap to wake and all, many gestures are supported priority notifications uh, swipe down for the quick search on the desktop and t9 search uh, font is also available and i'll show you the fingerprint setup because i really because it's different from the oxygen os fingerprint setup so i will add a finger and it's like this so my this finger is already registered so as you can see it is a little bit like the ios fingerprint uh, sensor so it will do it again and again so we are filling the finger uh, we are filling up the finger so not like the 10% 20% on the oxygen os or the samsung phones another thing that i found uh, which was different from the oxygen os was the advanced settings and in this we have a lot of things like the button calibration left hand right hand mode and this is for the back right now it can be changed to back right over there so it can be done like this but we do not have options of on screen buttons so we are stuck with the off screen buttons wake up gesture is supported so the double click to light screen so double tap to wake v o and everything is supported we do have a developers option but in the developer option we do not have advanced reboot i must say that i really like this rom because it's a little bit different to the stock android and i've now got bored of the stock android after, because after some time you do get a little bit bored with your stock android but right now this is new so i would like to use this for for a long more time and i will be tweeting or posting on facebook if uh, there's some bug or something that's not right with this rom but so far it's really been very stable and i really like this rom because it's a real it's a nice change so thank you guys for watching this video this was a quick little video on the hydrogen os on the uh, oneplus 2 global variant so we can even root it and everything is possible for this so do go ahead with the with this rom if you are having in oneplus 2 if you guys have any queries or anything you would like to ask me you can uh, you can contact me through facebook twitter or even comment on the video and i will surely get in touch with you and guys please do subscribe to our channel because we really need subscribers and your one click on the red subscription button can help us a lot and i really hope to see you in my next video till then see ya